oh, the, the, the government, the governor of California had came out and said that they can no longer accept no, donations within true. the state. That's actually not true. And, and so did other states follow suit and said they no. cannot accept donations within the state because they did not do their filings right, properly right, with you, the state. You just can't make stuff up. That's not true. I'm, I'm not making this up. This is this is verifiable evidence and people who are watching can verify it and prove if I'm wrong or right. The Washington Examiner reporting that the Black Lives Matter organization is halting online fundraising after facing scrutiny for missing financial records. The California Department of Justice threatening to hold the foundation's leaders personally liable if they fail to disclose details of the $60 million in donations that it received in the next two months. Was I wrong? Brandon, why should black people care? Look, I'm black. Why should I care about what's going on with Black Lives Matter organization and their money situation? Why? Well, I think that the Black Lives Matter organization has conflated with the concept of Black Lives Mattering. Um, I think that black people in this country believe that Black Lives Matter. I think everybody in this country should believe that. But when you have an organization that may be pushing out an image of black people that's not true, they may be bolstering success and they're actually contradicting success in the black community with issues that are surrounding Patrice Cullors, her stepping down, the purchase of, a ma of mansions, the, the mismanagement of money. Uh, those things are incredibly concerning because before the world stage, this is a black organization that is supposed to be representing the, the issues in the black community. And if they are on the world stage looking like a fraudulent organization, I think it really hurts the movement and it hurts the reputation of black people. Yeah, so let's talk about what exactly Black Lives Matter is being accused of, Dominique. Well, I mean, the what's happened is that Black Lives Matter Global Network, which to be clear is one part of the Black Lives Matter organization, um, released their 990s, which are the financial forms that nonprofits are supposed to release every year that shows where the money goes. Prior to that, there have been accusations and innuendo, but it's important to understand that there is Black Lives Matter grassroots, which really is Black Lives Matter. That's the people on the ground doing the work, the marches. That is the chapters in the various uh, cities. And then there's the Black Lives Matter Political Action Committee, which can donate to uh, initiatives and then political initiatives. And then there's the Global Network Foundation. This is the source of the controversy. This is where the money is housed. And they are the ones that release these 990s. And the 990s show that money went, we already knew, to buy a house, that money went uh, to pay for security and production costs to relatives and loved ones of Patrice Colors, which as far as I know is not illegal, but does appear to be, um, you know, possibly ethical. But also it shows that at least $25 million went to uh, fund Black-led organizations, including a fund of $13 million that went to local chapters. So aside from what's been accused, some of the prior accusations were actually debunked by that, even though some new questions were also raised. Yes. Uh, Brandon, let's go back to you. What exactly is Black Lives Matter being accused of? Yeah, I think the, uh, I, I believe it was Dominic, Dominique that uh, mentioned it before, um, that they're being accused of mismanaging money. I think a lot of people that invested in Black Lives Matter believe that all of the efforts were going to be put towards uh, bettering the Black community saw the opposite effect in some of these areas. I mean, when you give your, your, your child's father almost a million dollars and you're giving other family members large chunks of money to do services, it's very suspicious. And I don't think any reputable organization would ever in, in their right mind think of doing things like this. I mean, Patrice Cullors paid $75,000 for a private jet. Which in which at one point she paid back one of the mansions that that they had purchased with this Black Lives Matter money. They had threw an inauguration party for Joe Biden and, and threw a, a birthday party for one of her children. I mean, those things are not, in my opinion. I mean, I do think that that's it's the perception that's the issue, as Brandon rightly says. But to be clear, they're not so far accused of any crimes. Now, nepotism worked just fine for the Kennedys and for the Trumps. Somehow when black people do it, it's more suspect. Um, whether or not that was a good judgment call, we can debate. But, um, you know, if well, I'm Patrice Cullors and I'm under attack by right wing trolls, is it that weird that I would turn to my brother's security company? I don't know. 
I don't know but, if it's the call I would have made, but certainly we don't know that that's illegal. There's a point there. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Brandon. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's just right wing trolls. I mean, in the state of California, no, they were banned. They were banned from collecting any further donations in the state of California and other states around the country because they had not accounted for $60 million Amazon, worth of money. By Amazon because they didn't fill out their forms. That's not banned by any government agency. Or no, the, 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 gover the governor of California that came out and said that they can no longer accept no, donations within the state. That's actually not true. And, and so did other states follow suit and said they no. cannot accept donations within the state because they did not do their filings right, properly right, with you, the state. You just can't make stuff up. That's not true. I'm, I'm not making this up. This is this is verifiable evidence and people who are watching can verify it and prove if I'm wrong or right. Dr. Oh, Cole, let's talk about this. Dominique, yeah. uh, Dominique and Brandon are both saying that there's a little nepotism that went on with uh, the Black Lives Organization. And we're speaking of the global network. Correct. Um, so the thing <laughs> here is Dominique's right in a sense of nepotism works just fine when white people do it. I mean, we saw an entire presidency and administration be uh, in, 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 in fluctuated with uh, nepotism. Everybody in the Trump administration had a job who was related to him. And uh, if Patrice Cullors has a brother who has a security company and she pays him, what's wrong with that? Well, I don't yeah, think nepotism I mean, is OK when Trump did it either. I, th I think that it's very suspicious and it's not the way you should manage businesses. Even George Bush, the nepotism of having George Bush, George Bush Sr., and also another Bush wanted to run for president on a Republican <laughs> ticket. Um, he did not make it because people did not want a third Bush in office. And, and many conservatives did not want nepotism to be a part of our po political perspective. So I don't think it was good that Trump did that. And I don't think that anybody let him off the hook. I, I, I think that the liberal side of it gave him crap for it. Uh, rightfully so, because it's a conflict of interest. Brandon, let's talk about um, when Dr. Flo suggests that psychologically this hurts donators and people who support Black Lives Matter, and particularly because it is divided into groups. There's Black Lives Matter Global uh, Network, then the grassroots Black Lives Matter, and of course the political action Black Lives Matter. But when people see that, do they just see Black Lives Matter and not the individualism of these particular organizations? The umbrella uh, apparently represents all of it. Yes, ma'am. Dr. Flo had it perfectly right. Unfortunately, and this is why you have to take responsibility and do what's right when you have that big of a platform, because people cannot differentiate. There's a very big difference between the idea of Black Lives Mattering and the organization. So when the organization do things that are unkosher, people begin to question the movement in and of itself. And also there's grassroots movements that are within Black Lives Matter that have done tremendous work in the community. And unfortunately, the, the global organization haven't funded them as well as many people would suggest. And they have a lot of controversy, controversy surrounding them. And then also, I think we have to talk about the fact that we deserve better as Black people and having a better movement. We don't have clear statistical data that since 2014, that the actual movement has done positive things for the black community in 2020, uh, we saw the greatest- I don't know Brandon, but okay. Can I, can I, just, I just wanna finish this point. In mm -hmm. 2020, we saw the biggest spike in murders across the country, a 30% increase. And majority of those, 54% of those were black people that have been murdered. So at the height of Black Lives Matter, at the height of its influence, we've seen a tremendous amount of death and destruction in the black community. And I'm not saying this is 100% Black Lives Matter's fault, but I'm saying there's a correlation that people may connect. And can we disprove that that's the correlation?